and welcome to another race day. We are heading through the beautiful countryside on the way to Gloucestershire. We're going to the gorgeous little town of Tewkesbury to run a half marathon. And I think this is the first half they've had in Tewkesbury for three years, I think. So I think it's going to be a, a good event. It's touted as quite a flat event. Everyone says that, but we'll wait and see if it's actually as flat as they say it is. And am I in PB shape today? I don't think so, because I've just got back off holiday and it's been a, a gluttonous trip, let's just say that, an all-you-can-eat sort of cruise away to the Norwegian fjords. So I think I might be feeling that a little bit come mile 10. But it should be a good one. The weather's good. It's supposed to be wet today, but the sun is out. So yeah, I think it's going to be a fun one. I think it's going to be good. I say that every time. But yes, I think it's going to be fun. There it is, said it again. Tewkesbury Abbey, just up there. Wonderful building. So we're just on the way to the start line now. We run through town. The course is one of my favourite kind of courses. So sort of like a circular course today. So there's no out and back or no contraflow today and the town centre will be the finish line so we're about half a mile or a mile out of town to start run through town and then around Tewkesbury and then we'll finish in the heart of Tewkesbury which I think should be a really good finish I'm, I imagine it's going to be really well supported as well maybe not in the quieter zones because it's only a 17, 1600 people competing today uh, listen to me competing who do I think I am? I've changed competing. There was only 1,600 other athletes like me. Anyway, let's get to the start line. And uh, yeah, weather is really good. I mean, when the sun is in, it's about 14 degrees, no wind. Uh, feels really quite pleasant, but I imagine when the sun does come out, it's going to feel warm. Anyway, less waffling. Let's get to the start. So, just doing a little bit of a warm up. Um, realistically, today, I've got no idea how today's going to go. Uh, and what I'd like, I think we'd all have a PB, but I think realistically, it's best for me to just run on field today. Just go with the flow. See how I feel. Don't go out too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous day today. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Let's hope we don't end up in one of them. <laughs> right, pace has just arrived. I'll be following that. Everyone, have a great race. And we are off for Tewkesbury Half Marathon 2022. 1500 meters in, it's running through Tewkesbury now. Let's see if we can see Laura. She's told me to stay there. She'll be right here somewhere. There she is. Cheers. So 5k done, almost a quarter of the way round. Oh Feeling okay. Feeling similarly to how I did in Stafford, but I'm hurting a bit hard already, so we'll see. But uh, 
hanging on to a five minute pace which feels good so far nice and flat okay 10k in just over 50 minutes and ain't this a sight for sore eyes thank you nice lovely downhill section now but I don't know how long it's gonna last but we'll take it Cheers guys I feel like this is a model village Is this real? Of a brew right now. Oh. So 5k to go, and that good old cliche just a park run to go. Three quarters of the way through the race, and I always find that my form gets sloppy. So I've just got to remember think about the form, think about the cadence because. When you've got these shoes, so-called super shoes on, I've got the endorphin speed twos on. I think there's a tendency to think, you stick them on your feet and you'll just get a PB. It's not that easy. Here's our run. They perform at their best when you're almost in a tempo kind of flow. So just trying to remember my form, my cadence keeping everything crossed for a sub 150 I've run too many kilometers over five minutes 20 so I know a PB's out the window so it's time to muck in see if we can go sub 150 20k that's 1k to go we're so nearly there now Okay, we're nearly there. Temporary, come on. Oh, shit. Before I was there. Wow. We are done. What do we do? Let's have a look. 151.19. After a week standing in line at the cruise ship buffet, after that holiday, 151, I'm really happy with. That was a great little course. The medal, there we go. That was a hard. I don't think I've ever done an easy race. I don't think one's ever gone really easily. 
and this was no exception but it was a really fun one it was actually it was actually quite flat there were some gentle gradients uh, but nothing too nothing too hard but what's surprising me is that I finished two minutes slower than Birmingham but when I think about the week that I've just had which has just been overindulgence of the highest order and no you know no long runs or anything then it all makes sense but the run I reckon if I had done this run this time last month I reckon I could have I could have PB'd on that uh, first 10k I was doing all right started to slip away between 10 and 15 Top, popped a gel at 10k uh, yeah I think the period between 10 and 17k was the bit that killed me really because I, I, I did a tactical 30 second walk at one point um, but so what was that my third fastest half marathon this year but it's my third half marathon this year <laughs> but you don't need to know that second bit but that was a really good one and considering it's so local I think I'll probably think about doing this one every year so I think it's time to just find some food because I've eaten so much of it this week I think I've gotten a taste for like donuts waffles that sort of thing did you enjoy it as a spectator it was you... a good atmosphere yeah. yeah how long did you stay in Weatherspoons it's only like half an hour oh right okay well the, the, the course itself was well supported in parts but as you can imagine it's a very country countryfied half marathon so it was quite a quiet half marathon support gla gradually built on that last kilometer so it was it was a, a nice quiet but quick half marathon so if you are thinking of doing this uh, I would strongly recommend it uh, but yeah maybe don't want to cruise the week before and eat your body weight in uh, waffles anyway I've enough I think it's time to go and chill so thanks for watching if you've got this far like subscribe share all that jazz and I will see you on the next one. Ta-da!